Day one of state of emergency in Morocco. Morocco lockdown. Hi, I'm Suzy. I'm 56 years old. I'm Nora, 51 years old from Singapore, and we are still traveling through the pandemic. We left Singapore on 9th of September 2019. So March 2020, this happened. We just finished uh, our tour, touring of Morocco and we were in the north and we heard a lot of rumors about border lockdown and everything. So everyone was in a frenzy. And at that point, we really had to decide whether we want to head down to cross the border or stay in Morocco indefinitely. There were loads of uh, motorhome vehicles uh, that are going to the border at the same time. You can be stuck for three, four, five hours, even six hours at one time. I don't want us to be stuck there. We need to eat, we need to leave, and then we don't know what's going to happen because we're also not, not an EU citizen. So we had a long discussion, we had a long uh, debate about it. During the three months tour of Morocco, we came across this uh, web campsite owned by a French couple. It's very clean, yeah. nice, it's not too expensive. So we decided that would be the safest place to hide during Corona yeah. uh, pandemic. And it was a bad decision because at that time, uh, Europe was hitting, getting Bad. hit very hard with the virus and all the borders were closed. And we wouldn't know what our uh, fate would be like there. why we decide to stay in Morocco instead of heading back to Singapore was one, we have our vehicle, we have our car and we cannot abandon it uh, just like that. The risk that we think uh, we will have to put ourselves through because we would have to drive ourselves to Casablanca and then we have to take a flight out of Casablanca to London at the very least and from there go back to Singapore. We didn't want to put ourselves in a higher risk in, a, in an airplane. And Susie had also a, a history of asthma. So we thought, you know, uh, yeah. it is, it's better that we just stay put. Safe yeah. to stay. We got in touch with uh, the Singapore Embassy, right? But they can only help us get to London. And after that, we have to figure out ourselves. We also uh, asked our friends, our neighbor from Germany and, and France. They write to the embassy and the embassy say, okay, with all this state number, blah, 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 Singaporean, okay, we can get on uh, to their ferry. So once we get to the uh, ferry terminal, we were asked to turn around because our name was not on the list. Because they say, no, this is a German ship, only German nationals. But we say, like, we have the email from the embassy, blah, blah, blah. They say, no, turn around. Yeah, I got in touch with a uh, Singapore embassy, which I maintain contact. Uh, yeah. And then uh, he then got in touch with uh, our consulate uh, in uh, Casablanca. Yeah. Finally, she managed to persuade them to let us in. And then we go in through the custom. When we got on the ferry and saw our German friends, we were so happy. It was like, hey, clapping and hugging and whatever, you know. So that was quite a relief. I consider myself a, a free spirited. It's it's like uh, no other holidays that I've been to. I've backpacked. Uh, I've driven around the US. I've backpacked Europe, around Asia, blah blah blah. But not driving and living in a home. So it's another adventure for me. For me, I feel that I'm in my fifties. And if I wait another 10 years, 60, 65, when I retire, mm -hmm. perhaps I can't walk so much. I won't enjoy as many things, do as many activities. I, I don't I don't want to sit in, in behind a cubicle, behind a computer. That's not how I want to spend the next 20 years of my life. So I thought um, I do it while I can. We name we name a van uh, van garang because uh, we need a lot of garangness to go on this journey. Ferocious, fearless, uh, fearless you know, uh, to take the step uh, like no Singaporeans that we know have yes. done. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
as to keeping to our budget uh, for the whole trip, uh, we really stinge on, uh, say, paid attractions like uh, museums, uh, castles, and all that. And then we try to cook uh, most of the time, don't eat out so much, and don't drive too yeah. uh, much. Also, that uh, help us keep to our budget. We have been to 24 countries all over Europe, UK, Ireland, and North Africa, which is Morocco. Yes. And East Europe as well, yeah. Yes. So whenever we reach a country, uh, of course, there are like uh, the must-see visits. For example, in Italy, uh, the must visit is uh, like Pompeii, Rome. Um, yeah, but uh, at the same time also, we like to explore the places that we're at. One of my top experience was parking overnight at Cliff of Moher in Ireland. And when we wake up with the awesome sunrise and there's no one else around mm. us, we walk, spend an hour walking along the cliff mm. and then back. It was awesome. For me, because I, I do most of the driving, the drive is awesome. The Atlas Mountain and we also drove over Daddy's Gorge, which is one of the most dangerous uh, drive in the world. So yeah, it's like snaking and very sharp, blah, 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 high attitude. But we did that. We traveled from Greece to Turkey. And Turkey to where? Turkey to Russia, uh, Kyrgyzstan, China, Laos, Thailand, Malaysia. That's plan A. Uh, and then we take a bus into Singapore. Ideal situation. I think definitely travel is for the more mature uh, people, uh, especially like us, you're in your 50s because you have, hopefully, you have more disposable income and you have more life experience and you can create the time and you have a lot of common sense. So you're all set to go on the adventure of your life. I have learned from, from traveling so far these 17 months is that there's no better time than now. Wherever you are at in your life, you cannot wait for when you are fully ready or when you have enough money because money is never enough. Despite all the restrictions and obstacles, you just work it out one at a time, yeah. you know, and uh, if you really want to do it. Yeah, we can live simple. We can live simply and enjoy life to the max. Where are we going? Where are Bye. we going? Oh, switch is off. Okay. Oh, now they got a leave button. <laughs> Here, there, leave. Bye. Bye.